Today we are going to build a transformerless 10 watt LED driver circuit like this one. So I'll already built the circuit and first we'll see what are the parts needed and then we'll go in to see the testing of the circuit. So as you know a 10 watt LED needs at least 1 amp to drive at around 12 volts. So the voltage is easy to manage with a transformerless LED driver circuit but coming to the current it's not possible. So we try to keep this current at least possibly close to 50 to 100 milliamps to have the maximum brightness. To get a current value between these two values, we choose a capacitor that has higher uh, capacitance. So for example, we'll consider uh, 1 microfarad. But voltage of this capacitor is also important, so we choose a 1 microfarad at 400 volts. If you can't get 1 microfarad, you can choose two capacitors which can collectively compensate for this 1 microfarad. So today we are going to make this 1 microfarad with two capacitors. One is a 0.68 microfarad, another is a 0.47 microfarad. Both are rated at 400 volts. So uh, as you all know that there should be a resistor here which is a 1 mega ohm. And from here the bridge rectifier. This is a 100 ohm resistor rated at around 1 watt and here we will give the main supply of 220 volts AC. So this is the bridge rectifier. Uh, you can construct this bridge rectifier using a simple diode like this 1N4007 diodes and here you will get the positive and negative. So you can directly connect the LED here, uh, 10 watt white LED, 10 watt LED white and you can connect a capacitor here if you want but uh, this is not needed because uh, because I don't think it's uh, actually important to uh, filter the uh, output here but if you want you can add it there but you won't actually observe the blinking of this LED so much so I already connected this circuit now let's test it so uh, this is the mains cable coming uh, into the circuit and you have two capacitors, one is a 684K that is 0.68 microfarad and another is a 474K that's, that's 0.47 microfarad. Both are rated at 400 volts. Uh, this is a 1 mega ohm uh, resistor to remove the, any charge left on these capacitors after the circuit is switched off. So that it will protect us from getting shock after the circuit is switched off. And these are four diodes constructed in a projectifier form. This is 100 ohm resistor rated at 1 watt and the diode is directly connected to the positive end of the bridge rectifier on one end and the other end is connected to the native uh, terminals of the bridge rectifier. Now let's switch on the circuit and test it. Uh, be careful while uh, the circuit is switched on because touching the LED or the capacitor or so any other part on this circuit can give you shock. And uh, as you can see the LED is very bright and uh, it's actually daytime so you cannot see the brightness so well but if it's dark you can see the uh, LED is quite bright. Now let's measure the current going to the LED in this circuit. I'll keep the multimeter in 200 milliamps mode and uh, first I'll switch off the circuit, connect the multimeter and then switch it on. So I've connected the multimeter uh, in 200 milliamps mode and the positive probe is connected to the positive terminal of this rectifier and the negative probe is connected to the positive terminal of the uh, LED. So the main reason for connecting the multimeter here and not at the input that is the that is before capacitor is that uh, this multimeter basically these multimeters are meant to measure only DC current. Uh, at AC current these multimeters usually don't show any value so uh, I have connected this uh, after bridge rectifier so that I can measure the DC current that is the current going to the LED. This is almost close to the current which is coming into the circuit. So uh, let's switch on the circuit and see the current. So as you can see, uh, the current uh, going to the LED is about 71 milliamps. Yeah, the current going to the LED is about 71 milliamps. That's uh, halfway between the 50 and 100 milliamps. So let's calculate the power of this bulb. If we made uh, this LED into a bulb, then let's see what the power it consumes. So let's say uh, the voltage of main supply is 220 volts. So the current consumed is 72 milliamps. Then the power will be 220 into 72 by 1000. 
So as the current is in milliamps, I divided the power by 1000. So that's close to 15.84 watts. So that's a 16 watt bulb. So uh, as you can see that uh, 16 watt bulb is giving this much lighting but usually the LED bulbs are available outside so say a 9 watt LED bulb which is much brighter than compared to this the LED bulb which we made right now. So because those use uh, SMPS that's the switching mode power supplies and uh, whereas this one uses this uh, transformers LED power supply. But uh, knowing the cost of this circuit, this circuit can cost you anywhere between uh, 60 to 100 rupees maybe uh, depending on the cost of the components in your area. So when compared to a, a 9 watt LED bulb outside, uh, that's a commercial LED bulbs can range anywhere between 250 rupees to 300. So it's, if you want to recycle and use these components, that those are the capacitors, resistors, the digital rectified diodes etc etc then you can just recycle the old dead CFL bulbs to get all these components and make this bulb. So you are actually recycling the uh, dead CFL bulbs and making new things which you can use in your house. So that's all for uh, today. Uh, I'll meet you in my next video. Thank you.